What's up guys, I'm Bernie with 2Fab and I am here with Heather Dubrow. I know you had a little bit of a social media run in with Kelly Dodd. Oh yeah. Um, and I know you addressed this on your podcast. To fill anyone in who doesn't know, she ran into you at the gym, but instead of going in, she filmed you from her car. Yes. Because she wanted to avoid running into you. Yes. Um, and she has since apologized? No. No, okay. No. I was gonna ask if you guys have communicated after your podcast. No, okay, okay. no. We did not. Okay. So this is what happened. So Kelly had gone on Watch What Happens Live and said some kind of incendiary things about Terry. Yes. <clears throat> Became a little bit of a brouhaha. She apologized on social media. I ran into her at the gym. And she came over to me and said something like, uh, you know, I I'm sorry I said that. And I said something, I don't remember, it was like what, a year ago? I mm -hmm. said something like, hey, that wasn't cool. Maybe I said, I might have even said it was effed up. I don't remember, but something. And she goes, you know, I didn't have to go over and say anything. I could have just walked by. And I said, you know what? You're right. I appreciate you coming over and being a bigger person and telling me that. So thank you. Please don't talk about us anymore. Let's just call it. And then a couple of minutes later, she tweeted out, Heather and I spoke. We are good. All good. So I'm like, we're good. Now, this is the last time we've communicated together. The night, one of the nights of Hanukkah, I was talking to my girlfriend outside of Orange Theory because she was coming over that night. So we're talking, talking, talking. I'm like, all right, I gotta go. I'm gonna see you tonight. Blah, blah, blah. Go to my car, drive home. I'm making latkes the one time of year I cook. <laughs> having a good time, cooking up my latkes. And my friend Sarah comes in and goes, did you? Oh, never mind. I'm like, what? Where's the fire? What's going on? She goes, did you see the video that Kelly made? And I said, no. So she shows me this three-part video of Kelly sitting in her car, filming us and saying, why isn't she leaving? She called me some unflattering names. It, was, it wasn't a great video, but it made me laugh. I thought okay. it was kind of funny. I mean, here's a grown woman sitting in her car, yeah. you know, talking about me. But if you want to get a little Oliver Stone-y about it, my back was to her video when I was on the other side of the door. So she very easily, if she really wanted to avoid yeah. me, she very easily could have like slid in behind me and mm -hmm. I wouldn't have seen her. So clearly she wanted me to see it. Yeah. I saw it, I laughed, and then people were commenting about it all over social media. A lot of the news outlets picked it up as I was talking about it on Heather Dubrow's yes. world. And she tweeted out that I yelled at her at the gym and then she called me Skeletor and Joker Face. So I, I'm not sure many lessons were learned in this whole scenario, no. but you know what? It is what it is, it's fine, it made me laugh. I'm glad that you can <laughs> laugh it off. I'm sure you get backlash, comments, internet trolls, left and right. Does it hurt more getting that kind of commentary from a former castmate than it does like a random person on the internet? Um, no, because I think in both scenarios you have to know the source. So I think that the people whose opinion I would value over my character and judgment of things I've done, those opinions I value would mean something to me. I think anyone else's opinion really doesn't matter. So you guys have not spoken since? No, no, nope, if, if she were to reach out and apologize? You know what, it's just so, not so heavy. I, I don't have any weight on it. Right. I don't okay. really care. This is not my issue. Got it. Uh, and if I ran into her tomorrow, I'd say hello. Really? Yeah, of course. So if you Why went not? to Orange Theory and she was standing in front of the door, you'd get out? Oh, by the way, I would purposefully say, I'd be like, <laughs> hello, Kelly. Yes, yeah. I would. I just recently read that you didn't 100% say no to ever returning to the Real Housewives of Orange County. Oh, did I give a percentage? Well, you just said never say never. Oh, right. So that's a good. Answer. We're not saying it's a great answer. <laughs> Sucks for journalists, but it's a great answer for you. I know it's so lame. I'm no, so but I get it. But you can't say I'm never I... coming back. And then like two years later, well, <laughs> life changes. <laughs> I don't know, I never thought I'd be on, if you would ask me eight exactly. years ago, would you ever do a reality show? I'd be like, no, not happening. And here we are. So, I, I, I say never say never because I, I, there, I do so many things I never knew I was ever gonna do. Yeah. Who knows? Do you? Not imminently, how about that? Okay, I'll take that. Okay. Do you watch the show now? No. Have you watched the show at all since you left? Not one frame. Really? No, but you know, it's not to be mean. I didn't watch the show before I joined the cast. So it's not like, it was a show I was watching and I'm like, I'm done and I'm not watching anymore. It wasn't like that. It's just, right. I was moving on to a different part of my life and to me it's like when you graduate college. You don't sort of stay on the, the, the sorority Twitter feed. You know what I'm saying? Some people do and they need to stop. Yeah, but then you're not <laughs> moving on and that's a problem. Agreed. And it doesn't mean you don't love them and you don't love the times you had, but there, I think there's a moment where you have to say, okay, 
I'm moving on to this next phase and I want to focus on this and that's it. Good for you. Do you keep in contact with any of the girls? Not really, not so much right now. Although I ran into Vicky um, yes. at dinner the other night where she told me that she said on Watch What Happens Live mm -hmm. that she wants me back on her show. <laughs> she told me that. Her show. On her show. She goes, I want you back on my show. I go, that's great, thank you.